What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel, man. Man, it's your boy Car Loaded, and as you can see by the title, y'all already know what's going on today. Um, I'm going to be giving y'all another day in a life video. This is day in a life number three. So if you haven't checked out my old videos, go ahead and do it. Um, usually I will start off in the mornings getting ready, but I got ready super quick this morning. Nothing special. Just threw my work clothes on and headed out the door. Right now it is literally five o'clock, probably like five on the dot. Um, this is the earliest I've ever been to work, man. Usually I get to work and it's about 6.30, but you know, today is a Thursday. Um, you know, I'm feeling good this morning, so I was like, you know what? Why not wake up early and get to work on time? So that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna head to work, and in this video, I will be telling you guys how I got my CDL at 18. Um, pretty much my story, what got me into trucking, how did I start, where did I look, the, you know, how did I get hired here at Coke? I'm gonna be spilling all of that with you guys towards the end of this video, man, and throughout the video so make sure you watch the whole video like comment and subscribe so you don't miss any good tips um yeah like again i'm going to be scattering information throughout this video at different points um so yeah right now we're going to head into work that's my alarm right there see this is when i would usually wake up it's five o'clock right now well i wouldn't even wake up at this time see me I got to set seven alarms, bro. Like, I got one, like, at 5, 5, 10, all the way up to, like, 6.30, bro. Because if not, I won't wake up. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and head to the Coke plant. And, yeah, man, I will catch you guys when I get there. Let's keep cooking. <laughs> all right, y'all. As y'all can see, we is back. But not we is. We are out here at the plant. You know what I'm saying? We got the trucks and stuff. You know, my homie in the truck right beside this one, he just got him a new route, but... This is the one I'm driving right here. Little side, babe. Right now, I have to go and grab some cups that that's going to one of these places, so. Dang, is that door locked? Please don't be locked. Oh, look, I forgot to open the gate. Let's see if we good. Fuck. All right. Well, we gotta walk all the way around to grab these cups so i'm gonna take the hand truck and i'm gonna go grab these cups and i will catch y'all whenever i get back in the truck and on the way to the first stop man so y'all stay tuned again make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel man and yeah it's gonna be a good day so let's do it we out hey first we're gonna go we're gonna go say what's up to chance right quick this is my boy right here i actually got him the job here and look at him he already in the truck look he's stressing let's Let's pull up on the right quick, see what he's talking about. He's driving short on. You gotta say to them folks. <laughs> you liking the route? Nah. Hey, check him out, dog. Okay. <laughs> Alright, bro. Be safe. You feel me? Hey, so that's why y'all should stay tuned for the loaded guy that's gonna come out very very soon and i can help you guys do the same thing if you don't want to work at coke it's a lot more jobs out there for you you feel me but i'm gonna stop rambling and go ahead and go grab these cups uh my first stop is a domino so hopefully we can be the domino truck today they take forever man so i'm gonna try to hurry up and go grab that so we can come back and we don't have to wait in line or wait for that domino truck to finish unloading because the dude is a real pain in the eight you feel me so if I, if I, I'll talk down when I get back. Alright man, excuse the noise, but as y'all can see, I'm still having this issue with my truck. Um, my secondary air gauge right here will not build up like my first one. It's supposed to like kind of be, it ain't supposed to be like that, but it's supposed to be higher. But it stays right there all day. It takes all day to get up. And that, that, that sound is because of that. And it never builds throughout the day. You know, I told them that already. They said they'll get it fixed you know what i'm saying this is my third notice yesterday yesterday was my third notice of me telling them about my truck issue i got a tail light out back there so technically this truck should not be running to be honest should not be on the road but at a at a i ain't gonna say that but 
and see how it is, see how it goes. Um, hopefully by next Monday, it's Thursday. Hopefully my Monday, my truck fixed, they get it right over the weekend. But I know that sound is probably annoying, so I'm gonna catch y'all when we get to this Domino's. Um, and hopefully that truck ain't there, man. That truck, I could have like 10 cases going into Domino's, and this truck will not let me go in front of him. Even if we get there at the same time, bro, he gonna literally make illegal turns. Back, he gonna pull into it. He not even gonna back in. He's gonna pull into it just so I don't get the spot. And I'm like, bro, I only got 10 cases and I'm out of here. That's what, 10, 15 minutes, I'm out of here. This man gonna take an hour and a half to unload all that domino stuff, so. I mean, you run into people like that, nothing you can do about it. But we're gonna go ahead and get out here. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all when we get over here. All right, man, as y'all can see, we have made it. We made it into the Domino's. Uh, luckily, the truck was already here. Only bad thing about that is they blocked my way, so. I can't really put the product like over there on the shelves and stuff because all this Domino stuff is here. I, it's not my responsibility to move that. But I can't even get to the crates that I need to take because they blocked them in, so. Next time, I guess, that's when I'll get them, but I'm going to keep on bringing this in, and I'll show y'all at the end everything. All right, y'all, we just finished up this delivery. It probably took me about 15, 20 minutes just because, as y'all can see, it's extremely dark outside. Like, the camera kind of help it out, but it's way darker than it is on camera. But this is all we had right here, so just a couple two liters, a couple... 20 ounces, you know, I just leave an invoice there. And we out, just like that. So this is my first stop. Um, my next few stops are gonna be schools. I don't necessarily wanna record the schools that I go to for obvious reasons. You know? So um, I might just show y'all what I get and what I take in there, but I'm not gonna actually go recording in school and stuff like that. We ain't gonna do that, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to catch y'all whenever I get to my next location, man. We out. All right, y'all, change of plans. So, I needed to go ahead and get some gas right quick before we hit the road just because I got to drive to two different cities that's 30 minutes apart. I mean, one city at one time. I'm, I'm going to three different cities, bro, today. I got a little over half, but the thing is, my truck, it only got one fuel one fuel tank on this one right here and it's small the other side is nothing over there you feel me so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and just get fuel right now um, just to save myself and plus my truck been having that problem with the air pressure so i don't turn it off so it can keep building up even when i'm not driving it um, so yeah that's what i that's what i do i just keep it plugged up that way it can do with it and the light over here I just keep it plugged up so it can do what it needs to do while I'm working and stuff. So the gas do run a little bit faster like that. But I gotta do what I gotta do, man. The truck, the truck is the truck, man. So we filling up right now. Gas going up. I predict 50, nah, not 50. I predict, I predict $62. We gonna see what is that. But um, yeah, man, pretty much what we do, all, all um, Coke trucks get gas here for not free. I'm sure they pay like an annually price or pay a price and then like every year and then they um yeah we just do it like that so they pay a price every year and we can come they have a card in there for us we swipe it put in our truck i mean our id our truck number mine is 64 and then that's it you're going by that day but yeah man we st got 54 right now like i said i think it's gonna be like 62. If I'm spot on, uh, 58. It's okay. I'm always win. I'm gonna squeeze it some more until we get to 62. All right, there we go. Y'all know I can't be wrong. All right, go ahead and throw this on the hook. Tighten up my gas cap. I know I need gloves, y'all. Don't y'all ain't gotta tell me in the comments. I know I need gloves, stuff like that. Go ahead, crank us up right quick. 
Gotta let it cycle and things of that nature. Alright, man. Shut, 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 shut. Y'all don't know nothing about that scissor. Y'all might be too y'all might be too old for that scissor. But anyway, I'ma go in here, um, pay for the gas. Well not pay for it, but go ahead and swipe the card and stuff like that. And I will catch y'all whenever I get to my next stop. Yeah. Alright y'all, so I'm about to update y'all on what just happened, man. So I made it to, you know, I'm at one of the schools that I delivered to, the cafeteria. And I'm I was going back, right? And the woman told me, she said, pull in, pull in. Because she didn't want me right here blocking this, right? And I was like, okay. So I was backing up. And mind y'all, the only time I've ever backed up was at the coke plant in the other trucks with the back doors. So I forgot, I totally forgot. I got side doors, bro. So I backed up all the way into the back of that dock, right? And those little black things, I hit it. Like, I backed into it until I felt it, which is what I was supposed to do if I had a back door. But unfortunately... I forgot I I forgot this was right here, bro. So it hit the little black things right there, smashed smashed in, and it's supposed to be one of these right here, and it broke off. So you know I'm gonna go ahead and you know report that, do it the right way. But that's just crazy, dog. Like I I told it totally slipped my mind, bro. Like it's minor, but it's major. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and report it though, and I'm gonna catch y'all. This is what they get though. Straight apple juice. Nothing but apple juice. So yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys whenever I finish this up. All right, man, as y'all can see, we are at the next location. I just backed into here. This time, I did not back into this thing. I have before. So if you haven't seen that, it's on my TikTok. I have backed into that dock before, but not today, so you know what I'm saying? But, think about this there is no ramp there is no ramp it's only these stairs so what i gotta do i gotta go get every single case stack it put it all up here and then bring the hand truck up and then stack it on the hand truck then roll it in you know what i'm saying so it's a little little happy Every single case, just like that. And that's the only way to get in there. And they got 34 cases, so some of them I can kind of do two at a time. But most of the time, it's, it's one by one. Um, some of them are like small, like little tummy yummies. I don't know if y'all drink. You know, y'all probably drink tummy yummies. Y'all old. The people that's watching this probably grew up on bug juice. <laughs> process just repeats so I'm going to catch y'all whenever I get it all loaded up on here and then I'm loading up the hand truck. Alright y'all so I actually just finished taking it all in. I'm about to take y'all in here right now so y'all can see but we cleared it all off. It was a well it wasn't a lot. I'm gonna take you guys in here right quick. Got everything right here. And yeah is everything all the way through there usually i'll put it through there but as you see they got stuff blocking the way so not really my problem man so now i will catch i have to go next door and do the the big high school this is just the ninth grade campus so i'll catch y'all when i get next door yeah yeah y'all and i backed into this thing i was gonna record and show y'all but i forgot hey that's that's like a 10 out of 10 to me oh wait let me shut the door right here Hey, that's damn near a 10 out of 10. I ain't gonna lie. You don't get no, no better than that. We got a lot of space on both sides. And like I said, my next delivery is literally in the building right next door. They just got separate campuses, so I will catch y'all when I head over there. As y'all can see, we have made it to 
my next location right now. I'm about to load up the hand tractor. I already took some in. Um, it's a little bit better though. As y'all see, we have a, a little ramp right here and we just roll it through those doors down there. Um, and yeah, they missing a lot off the order. Um, I actually had to just search every single one of these doors, like top and bottom, just to make sure they didn't put it in, like, where my boxes would be. Cause like over here, It's all boxes, but sometimes it's like a little a ledge right here, and then they put stuff on top. I don't know why they do that, but they have before. And I've been, you know, I was taking stuff off of the invoices and stuff, and I got back to the warehouse, and I opened my doors all the way up, and that there they were. So right now, I'm just making sure it's not here, and they are missing a lot. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take in what I can. They're probably going to be upset about it just because... Last time they were missing the exact same thing. So I'm wondering like what's going on. But yeah, man, I will catch y'all whenever I'm headed to Domino's. Again, if y'all want to see videos of me actually driving to these locations and actually delivering them firsthand, like y'all see me drive there, y'all see me deliver, all of that interact with the managers, customers, whatever the case may be, click my just click my YouTube link. And it'll just take you to my channel where you'll see numerous videos of me doing it. Um, a lot of people actually enjoy those driving point of view. So make sure you go check that out. But yeah, I'll catch y'all. Um, my next stop probably be AutoZone or Domino. Well, actually, I got one more school. And then it'll be AutoZone or Domino's, one of those. So I'll catch y'all whenever I make my mind up. But right now, I'm going to take this in. So yeah. As y'all can see, we're pulling up to my last before I actually can start my route and I look over and I guess they have like a hold on let me turn it down before I get copyrighted but I think they have like a field day or something like that so they got like balloons I remember well it wasn't too long ago like I'm still young but I remember field day like back in the day and stuff like that I used to be a, a field day guy like I'm in the bouncy houses dunking on everybody like I was the best recess player ever bro Ever, bro. I never even was team captain. I was his first pick. Kickball? Oh my god. We caught, uh, when I was in school, we played this game called Batman. I don't know if y'all know about Batman, but Batman was that game, bro. Or maybe it was just made up by my teacher. I don't know, but just know that game was like that. But I deliver right here to this concessions right here on this corner. So yeah, um, there's people out here. I'm probably not gonna be able to record that much or that great. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this in and then, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all when I actually get to start my route. Cause this, this really isn't even my route. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all in a little. But, like, like I said, man, it's just bouncy houses. It's, man, you're fine. I've never seen. I never seen so many people just confidently run in front of a truck, y'all. Oh my god, kids coming. Hold up, y'all. Yeah, man, so I'm I'm kind of waiting right now. We got a whole bunch of kids. They running out there. That's just crazy, man. Like, I remember I was just in middle school, bro. Like, they don't even know, bro. Life be coming, bro. Life be life and for real, bro. So, and there's more kids coming, you feel me? We got kids coming this way, and... Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop out. They getting all like fridge packs. So like the little cans, it's just all of those 12 cases. So I'm gonna take those into the concessions. But like right now they just going to play. It's just crazy. Like they got a whole day just full of field day. You feel me? But I'll catch y'all whenever I'm leaving here. Um, and yeah, when I get to my first real stop of the day. All right, y'all, man. So quick update right quick while I got the opportunity to. I have just completed that middle school where they was having the field day. And I also did two other stops. I just did an auto zone and I just finished up this Domino's right here. They had pretty low, pretty heavy load of cases. So I did not have a chance to record that. I had to get it done. Um, right now there is a Starbucks right here that I usually go to. Um, I'm picking one of y'all recommendations from the comment section to try. And again, if it's like that, I'm gonna tell y'all it's like that and I'm gonna cash out whoever recommended it to me you feel me that's how i'm gonna do so if you want your starbucks drink featured on this video for a chance to win some money all that you got to do is comment your favorite starbucks drink comment what you get your go-to or something you would like me to try drop a cash out beside it and i'm gonna go get it and i'm gonna try it and if it's good 
I seen you something for the recommendation, man. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna head over here to Starbucks, grab that drink. Um, that just depends. Like I might start in this video or my next video, just because I'm kind of in a fast mood. Like I need to get what I need to get and then just get on through. So just depending on how the line is in there, I might get that drink or I might just stick with what I get today. But next time y'all get a day in life video, I'll be trying somebody's recommendation. But um. is to be at this one restaurant that I usually go to by 10.30. That's the time the dude usually gets there. Right now, I have two more stops to do and it is 9.34. So I have one hour to complete one stop on this road and another stop farther down this road. It's like a golf, it's like a private type of environment, gated community. But like a, it's crazy, man. It's Ric Flair's community down there. Like literally, no joke, not even capping y'all. Ric Flair has a community down here, so I have to deliver down there as well. So um, yeah, man, I would just keep y'all up. I just, need, I just needed to update y'all with what just happened because I know I skipped two stops. But yeah, we're going on to the next stop after Starbucks. So I'm probably just going to show y'all what I get in three, two, one. All right, y'all, I just made it back in the truck and I got the double smoked bacon with the caramel ribbon crunch frappe i always get that that's my normal i ain't even gonna lie the line was extremely long bro i was contemplating it but you know what i don't care to be late if it's for starbucks you feel me i don't know when i turned into a starbucks type of guy but i i just can't skip out on starbucks anytime let me not even, i'm not gonna start a truck yet anytime i got the opportunity i'm at starbucks you know what i'm saying and i would be late if it's for starbucks you feel me so Right now, I'm going to eat while I go to this next delivery, and yeah, man, the next time you guys see me, I'll probably be at the private community. I'm going to kind of show you guys what it looks like throughout there, and yeah, and again, if you guys want to actually see me drive into these locations and delivering it firsthand, like with my GoPro and stuff like that, click my channel, man. I got plenty of videos there for you all. Make sure you guys stay tuned to see how I got my CDL at 18 and how y'all can do it too or 18 or however old y'all is but I'm gonna tell y'all how I got mine at 18 and my story of what sparked me to get my CDL so make sure you stay tuned for that I'll be doing that when I get off of work but yeah I'm gonna head to the next stop I got like 20 minutes to to do these two stops and make it to my stop by 10 30 but I know we're gonna be late but we'll catch up at some point throughout the day so make sure y'all stay tuned we're gonna keep cooking I was passing this little one, uh, got kind of a tricky parking lot here. I know I'm not going to be able to go around there, so I just pulled right here. I delivered over here, and now I'm going to have to reverse back and then try to go out of that exit there, and then I'll head over to my next location. But I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on. And, of course, as always, got me a free drink, man. So that's the beauty of working restaurants. They give you free food and free drinks and stuff like that, so... I'm gonna be fat one day, I'm gonna be like the typical trucker, just fat. Same country music down the road. <laughs> but man, I'll catch y'all at the next stop. Alright y'all, as y'all can see, I just made it out here, man. We out here at the, the, you know what I'm saying? They got lakes down there, man. This neighborhood is beautiful. They got, this is like the main, like, I guess like the clubhouse, you could say. But it's a golf course, you feel me? Like, this neighborhood is crazy, dog. Like I said, this Ric Flair had property down here at one point, so it's kind of known for that. But anyway, it's like a golf course. I think they have like a golf tournament or something, like old British guy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. One day I'll be out here playing golf or somewhere in my own, like in a different community, playing golf for no reason at all, bro. Just to hit the ball. It's no fun in golf, bro. It's no fun playing golf, bro. I'm convinced 100%. Like, that's that's boring. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and deliver this. The bad thing about this, right? So I deliver, I have to go down here, all the way down this hill, around to the back of this building. But it's a hill right here. It don't look that bad on camera, but that hill right here, it will drop you. Now, if anything falls off my hand truck, it's going to roll all the way into the water. It's no saving it. No saving it. Trust me. It didn't happen. I didn't have, uh, I think, uh, two liter. Two liter case fell off the top. 
four or five bottles rolled the entire way. All the way. I'm, I'm running out to trying to get them. I end up getting one. But the other five, in the water right now. Fish drinking Coke to this day. But, um, yeah, man, you definitely got to be careful with it. That was my first time, but, you know, lesson learned. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deliver this down in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all whenever I finish this delivery. Alright y'all, so I made it to my next, dang it's dark, I made it to my next two stops, we got one right there, a gym place and a restaurant on this side of me, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these two out, then I got like three or four restaurants down this line um, on the street, probably not gonna record that, the next time you see me, I'll probably be in the next city, and to my last few stops, I'm not gonna keep keep going like this because the video will be super long so what I'm gonna do is I will catch y'all when I get to probably my last few stops and then yeah I'll, I'll update you guys then so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and knock these out make sure you stay tuned if you want to see how I got my CDL at 18 yeah no look at this bike right here y'all think I should get a bike I'm thinking about getting a bike y'all that shit crazy. That shit look good too. And you got an M, uh, I'm gonna show y'all this BMW as well. We got a bike right here. And we got a, um, a BMW competition. I don't know what series it is. I think it's an M3 right here. It's crazy. Like that is actually insane. Motivation, man. Two things I wanted, like, I wouldn't say I want a comp, a uh, BMW comp, but it wouldn't be a bad choice, you feel me? But I definitely want a bike, man. And that's gonna be the, the next big thing I buy myself, like, for sure, for sure. And then I think this is the young black gentleman right here drives this car. Yeah, he do. Man, it's a nice, nice BMW, too. Comp series, not the regular M. Comp. So, yeah. But, anyways, I'm at. I'm spitting. I don't know why I'm, a, I'm at one of my last stops, you know what I'm saying? My last real stop of the route. I still have to do one school district order. Um, they're getting all, like, cases of coke. I mean, cake, like, the little cases and cans. So that should be pretty easy to deliver. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm just chilling right now. It's now uh, 1250. I'm going to go in here and make, see if they need something in this restaurant. If not... I'll be heading to the school district, and after that, my day will be over with. So, hopefully I can get out of the school district fast because, you know what I'm saying, it might take me like two hours. It might take me two hours to finish that, so, you know what I'm saying, because it's hard work, man. It's hard work, you know, school, school is in, so I got to worry about traffic and all that type of stuff. So, I might be out for longer than expected, but, you know what I'm saying, I got one more left. Um, the ones who get it, get it. The ones who don't, and hey, you will get it one day. But, um, yeah, man, a crazy story about where I'm at right now, bro. So, last, like, two weeks ago, when I was at this exact same location, I was checking on this store, but I needed something for my for my crib. So, I had went to this food line right there, and I seen a fan. I met somebody, bro. It's a fan. I'm going to pop the clip right here in this video right now. I wouldn't say he a fan. I wouldn't call him a fan. He's a supporter. He's a subscriber. He's part of the loaded community. But like that was my first moment to realize I was like at 15k subs. That was like my first moment of realization. Like people actually out there watch my videos. You feel me? Like that was just surreal to me. I, I just didn't. I, I didn't know how to take it. Like he can't. He approached me like, "Hey, aren't you that guy from YouTube?" Me? You know this me off YouTube? That's just something that I feel like is an accomplishment to myself because I actually work hard for this. Like, this isn't something that I just say, oh, you know, I actually put hours and hours and hours into this, like, making content. I done had so many videos that end up getting deleted or the footage got corrupted, my GoPro overheated so I couldn't finish. But, man, I'm still pushing through, man. So, this, this is a motivational message to y'all tonight give up man a lot of people give up right before they finna get blessed bro you gotta love what you're doing man like don't just don't give up like i know it sounds like old like stereotypical but just really like stay consistent and don't give up but like if you stay consistent 
you start to see numbers, bro. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I rarely posted it on any social media. Like I got friends and stuff on social media, but I never would post it. I would just make the YouTube content and let it go to YouTube. Let it go to YouTube. And I did that for like a month or two before I actually started posting it on my Snapchat and uh, Instagram stories. But like, I built this fan, I built this support system authentically, like straight from YouTube and TikTok. I, I later branched it to TikTok, but mostly straight from YouTube. Um, so yeah, man, but yeah, that's just a little story I have for y'all. The dude right there, man, real good dude. If you see this, man, shout out to you, man. Keep cooking, whatever you want to do, you can do it, man. Motivational car in the comment section. Drop the chef emoji for Buddy. And yeah, man, I'm going here to see what they need. They not gonna need nothing. He never get nothing. I don't know, this is a small little Mexican spot. When I say he never gets anything, dog, like I don't remember the last time I gave him soda. He's probably ordering it from somebody else now that I think about it, but it's not my not my duty to care. But um, yeah, I will catch y'all whenever I get to the school with my last delivery. Uh, hopefully, I don't know what I'm gonna do after work, but I'm gonna bring y'all with me, and then I'm going to tell you guys how I got my CDL at 18 years old. All right, y'all. So I just finished up my work day. Um, well, not not. 100%, like 95% finished my work day. I just finished this delivery at the school district down here where I'm at. And yeah, that was my last delivery. So it is 1.45 by the time I get back. I'll probably get off like 2.30, um, somewhere around there. So yeah, I'll be on my way back to the warehouse now. I'll have to check out and all of that stuff. And I'll be going home. I still don't know what I'm gonna do when I get off, but I will be filling you guys in on how I got my CDL and then whatever else I do throughout the day, you guys will see it. Um, so yeah, again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. A lot of you guys watching and not subscribe, man, which is not okay. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah, man, I'll catch you guys whenever I get back to the warehouse, maybe in my car. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Alright man, y'all don't know nothing about that right there, but anyways, we just made it back to the plant. Oh, I'm playing. Turn this off. Turn my lights off. Let me uh wind my window up right quick. That way it just in case it rain or something. <laughs> or no bugs and stuff on flying in here or whatever. Uh oh, here come boss man. Camera down. <laughs> Alright, so change of plans, man. He actually just told me to pull my truck over there so they can, um, like fix it, I guess. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do, but they're gonna try to fix it. He just told me to pull it over here, so that's what we're gonna do. Big boss came. <laughs> Had to put the camera down. Not that he will have an issue with me recording, but it's still like a, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, he's telling me where to come right now. Got the guys right here. So we pulling right here beside him. You see that fire extinguisher? They'll give you a ticket if that strap ain't. Tied on that. Okay, so see if it'll strap. If it won't hook. If it, oh, oh, it's a little hook in here. It's on here. So oh, strap this. Get, yeah. So you want to get that thing to sit, get the neck to fit down in the holder. It's in there now. Yeah. And then you take this thing. I don't think it's long enough. See? Uh, something's happened. There you okay. go. Then that thing just. Yeah, you gotta get the hook on the other side of that belt. Now fold it back. Take that and fold it like that once you get that hooked into that side. Ah, okay, okay, I see. All right, huh? Right gonna finish this right up. They right here working on my... They right here working on fixing my truck. I'm trying to build the air pressure, but y'all see it still ain't moving. They trying to get it figured out, huh? The air pressure won't build up. So like, the, this whole thing, huh? Only it's two, it's two of them. The first one build, the second one won't. So I'm running out one air, air system. They down here trying to figure it out. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all when I get in the inside. Hopefully, we get my truck fixed today. All right, man. 
boyfriend is just right up to that. I'm gonna be messing with this truck with them for a while. But good thing they fixing it. So that's a first. But yeah, man, I'm gonna catch y'all when I get inside of the office. So as y'all can see, man, I just got back in my little spot right here where the truck's where I'm at. Opened up all of my bay doors on both sides so they can come in and take out the old, put in new, put, load my orders up for tomorrow. But only bad thing is they could not fix the issue. I mean, he's not the mechanic. He's the big boss over there. He's just trying to work on the trucks for a little bit. He could not fix it. So we're going to have like the actual red classic mechanic come and he's going to do it. But right now, I think they're looking for a bulb to fix the back tail light issue. But the air pressure issue is something that I'm just going to have to deal with until he said maybe Wednesday or try to get him out here tomorrow. But that's just going to have to be what it's going to be. Um, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get off enough enough of work i'm done with work for today we're about to go ahead and head home and yeah see what today brings us hi right, youtube i'm back in the car we got my boy right here check him out now hold on let me let me show y'all what he working with now let me get you right see what he working with now <laughs> that boy getting money <laughs> what you guys say to them folks man Hey, listen, my car's dirty, but I'm just trying to get, like, car loaded. Oh, man. my God. We, all right, bro. Get on out of here. Go we ahead. this own route and shit, man. I'm just trying to be like him, man. <laughs> get money like You know we rocking Lexus. You feel me? Check them out. I'm going to catch y'all whenever I get to the crib, bro. I just had to show y'all, bro. I love seeing that, man. I, I actually helped my homie get the job here. You feel me? Like, like directly talk to the boss to get him on board because he... Like, uh, like it's common to be struggling looking for a CDL job. You know, he got a gig. He wasn't messing with it, so I got him on here at Coke. And just seeing that, you feel me? And he get his, he just getting his own route. Like, it's crazy, man. It's, it feels good when I can help people do better for themselves. You feel me? And that's part of the reason why I'm gonna create the the found the the organization that I'm gonna co um, create in the next few months. So, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned for that. But I just had to show y'all that. I'm about to head home right quick. It is 3 o'clock pretty much. And yeah, I'll catch y'all when I get home. We out. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm back in the crib. I got showered and dressed and anything and everything like that. Um, I had the idea to cook for y'all, you feel me? Because in the last day in the life, I asked y'all some things to cook. So right now, we're going to go get some salmon. And a side, I don't know, broccoli, rice, whatever the case may be. Um, and we're going to try this. I actually did try this one time, and it did not go. Let's just say it didn't go how I planned it to. But we're going to redo it this time. My mom gave me some new intel on how to make it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go hit Publix right now down the street. Grab the salmon. We do the fresh salmon from, like, the, the back part. And we do... No, I got my season. Y'all, y'all bear with me, man. But when I come back, I'm gonna be spilling the game on how I got my CDL at 18. What got me into trucking? Um, do I plan on trucking for a long time? Do I plan on staying with Coke? Coke review is the pay. Everything trucking with that got to do with me. I'm gonna spill it all for y'all while I'm cooking. So, um, yeah, we're about to go ahead and head out. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go show y'all the fit for the day. Make sure I ain't gonna. We go just a plain, you know, plain little hat, plain black. I'm a, I'm a simple guy, gray sweats, but peep the feats, bro. It's all about the feats. Them Travis Scotts. Do your homework on Travis Scott ones. That's what y'all need to do. Do your homework on Travis Scott ones. But um, yeah, man, that's pretty much going to conclude everything. I'm a um, when I get back, I'm a clean up. Oh, uh, see, I got. It. Stuff everywhere and things of that nature. Uh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna edit a video for y'all. Um, I recorded two new videos today, in addition to this one. Uh, so yeah, I've been grinding for y'all, man. Y'all gotta respect. One thing about me that y'all can't do, bro. Y'all can never not respect the grind, bro. I be grinding for y'all, like y'all don't know, bro. I literally be putting in work for y'all. So make sure y'all hitting that subscribe button, man. I'm trying to run it up 30k, 40k, 50k. However many Ks we can reach, that's what I want, man. So go ahead and hit that sub button, and we're going to head to the car. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring y'all in the Publix. I don't really know public filming um, rules and stuff like that. Hold on. Before we leave, you know what I'm saying, we go crossbody bag. It's not a purse. For y'all in the comments, always wearing a purse. 
it's not a purse. It's a crossbody bag goyard, you feel me? And the only reason I have it is because, you know, you got to have necessities and things of that nature when you leave, you feel me? And that's just how it's always been for me. Always, you know what I'm saying? Didn't, this, this didn't just start. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So I'm going to go ahead and head out to Publix. Like I, get, like I said, playing a little basic fit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. We just got off. Got showered and stuff. So i catch y'all when I'm going outside to my baby. To the, to the little Lexus. You feel me? I just got in the car, man. Every single time I leave and get out of my car, I forget to close my sunroof, bro. Every single time. I always forget to close my sunroof. That's like the number one thing in life I keep forgetting. Close my sunroof. One day I left it over, even like overnight, and I had like mosquitoes and gnats and stuff flying around in here. It was so bad. I had to do so much to get them out, man. Like It was crazy, but yeah, I got to get out of the habit of doing that. But we in the, we in my baby right now. So yeah, we got to get her clean. Y'all know I get well, y'all don't know, but I get, um, I get, what's it called? Car washes every single Friday, you know, because it's payday. So on payday, I go to the bank. Payday is tomorrow, by the way. So I'll be getting my car wash tomorrow. But go to the bank. The bank is right beside the car wash. So, you know, you cash in a check. Might as well want to look good, feel good, get the car wash for the weekend, and then we rolling. But um, my phone is already finna die. Camera finna die pretty soon. So we're going to hurry up and get to Publix right now. It's probably like 10 minutes away. And yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to actually record in Publix. Uh, maybe not. But if not, if I don't, obviously I'll show y'all what I get when I get back in the car. So next clip you see will be that. Child bag is secure. I'm literally just getting in the car. Um, I got some stuff right here. I'm going to show y'all more when I get back, but... I'm awkward in public, bro. Like, it's crazy because I be realizing how awkward I am when I be in public, bro. Like, I be feeling so out of place in certain situations. Like, grocery shopping is one of those things where I just feel out of place, bro. I know I do not belong here, bro. Why am I shopping for groceries? And I'm talking about, like, vegetables and stuff. Like, it's just all feel, like, it still feel weird to me. You feel me? That I'm even in the grocery store buying groceries myself. I went grocery shopping for the first time like three days ago. Most awkward thing in my life. I'm about to just start Instacarting. Just pull up and they just throw it in the car because it's so awkward. Like, then I don't be knowing what I be getting and then I just call my mom. Call my mom. Call my mom. She tell me exactly where to go to get. Like, I couldn't even figure out the dang rice situation, bro. It was like hella different rices, but none of them said dirty rice. But that's what I was looking for. But, like, it be different names, bro. Long story short, I got... The only one I seen that said Dirty Rice, so I'm sure it's a different name for it, but I just got the one, the name I knew, so. But anyways, I'm going to catch y'all whenever I get to the spot. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything else right quick. Uh, probably go get a milkshake from this one spot, and then next clip y'all going to see for me is I'm going to be taking all of this out, showing y'all what I got. And yeah, probably not going to cook for like another two, three hours, like later in the day. I might just um, edit a video for y'all, and then that'll be it. So, um, yeah, man, make sure y'all stay tuned, like, comment, and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I catch y'all when I get back to my spot to let you guys know my story and how I got into trucking and how I got my CDL. So yeah, it's not as complicated as you guys would think. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, we just made it back inside to the crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all what I got, you feel me? As y'all seen by the clip I showed, I got the lobster mac and cheese. I never had this before. It just caught my eye. Something that sound like it'll be good. So I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to cut down on the eating out. So I got this so that I can just have a little stuff to warm up. Other than that, I got this. It's like mashed potatoes, smoked cheese, and bacon flavored mashed potatoes. You feel me? We got, bro wait, broccoli and zesty cheese sauce. I don't think I meant to get zest. I don't know. I don't know. This is what I grabbed. It looked like it was going to be good. Broccoli. And I got this box that say dirty rice. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to roll with them for the size, you feel me? Then I got two pieces of salmon in here, you feel me? Fresh cut salmon. 
So yeah, man, that's what we rolling with today. Um, I'm gonna go. Ahead. I'm probably not gonna cook. Let's, let's see what time it is. Five thirteen. I'm probably not even gonna cook till like seven, eight. You feel me? But in the meantime, I'm going to sit down. Um, probably play the game. Uh, edit a video or something like that. That's really tattooy. But anyway, play the game. Edit a video, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. That's usually what I do whenever, like, whenever I'm not with my homeboys or whatever. And then later on, whenever I start cooking this, which will probably be in the next clip you guys see, I will be telling you guys my story about how I got my CD. I know I keep talking about it, but the time is going to come. So I'm going to throw my camera on the charger, edit a video or two, hop on the sticks for a little bit. Um, and yeah, man, we're just going to go from there and then we're going to. We're going to hop in the kitchen. We're going to be cooking for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? We're cooking out here every day. But we really, really fun to be cooking in a second, man. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that sub button. If you watching this and you don't hit that sub button, tsk. hey, y'all get them. In the comment section, for that one person who ain't hit the sub button, I need y'all, my chefs, to comment down below the chef emoji, man. Let me know you're subscribed. And... Yeah, I will catch y'all in the next clip. Y'all tune in. Alright, y'all. As y'all see, I'm laid down right now, chilling in the apartment. You feel me? I'm just watching some YouTube right now, watching some Chabata Mitch, man. If you don't know who he is, bro, y'all got it. And you, you like a gamer, you mess with Madden and stuff, you gotta watch Chabata, bro. That's probably one of, the, one of my favorite people to watch, bro. But anyways... I've been doing this for like an hour and a half angle. I ain't touched my laptop to edit no video, bro. I've been getting lazy. But, you know I'm still going to knock it out at some point today. But right now, we just chilling. I wanted to update y'all. I'll probably start cooking in about an hour. So make sure you go ahead and grab your popcorn and everything you need because it's about to get real. I'm going to let you guys know everything you need to know about how I got my CDL at 18 in my store. So yeah, man, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all when we get to the kitchen. Uh, so this is the part of the video y'all all been waiting for. Um, I'm about to tell you guys how I got my CDL, what motivated me to get my CDL, and everything CDL related towards me. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be cooking at the same time. So I asked y'all in the comments in the last video to give me stuff to cook. Cause I don't know how to I'm gonna be honest I don't really cook like that um, I eat out every single day Literally every single day It's probably like the second time I cooked I tried to cook this before It didn't go so good So we going back for a repeat um, Somebody recommended salmon And all that good stuff So that's what we doing So before I hop into what I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm gonna cook So we got Good old salmon from Publix You know the fresh cuts Broccoli and cheese, straight out the frozen, you feel me? And we got smoky cheese and bacon mashed potatoes, flavor. And you know, I got my olive oil, my seasonings over here. Old Bay, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Hey, I'm not a chef, so for all you chefs in the comments who go, I mean, I am a chef, you know, I'll be cooking. But like, this is extreme cooking, you feel me? So all you like cooking gurus. I don't need y'all getting on my head in the comments. Just give me recommendations, and that's it. You feel me? I don't need you to get on my head. I know I might do some stuff wrong. It's okay, because I'm going to eat it regardless. But, yeah, man, so with that being said, let me go ahead and jump into it. First thing I'm doing, let me um, take, my, take my watch off. You know I go um, big G-Shock every single day. But um, first thing, first step is I'm going to wash my hands right quick. So go ahead and hit my Hand washing type stuff. Hey, y'all know the, the, the correct way to wash your hands is like 30 seconds in the front, 30 seconds in the back. But we're not doing that. We just gonna give it a little scrubby dub dub. And that's gonna be the end of it, you feel me? Hey, you should get like some behind the scenes type. You feel me? Alright man, so I'm done washing my hands. So the first thing we finna do, we finna pre-eat this oven right quick. So we gonna put it on 420. That's what we finna uh, pre-eat it on. So we're gonna hit the bake. We're gonna go 420. And we 
gonna start that. That's probably gonna take a little minute. It ain't gonna lie. But while it's doing what it's doing, I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything else so we be ready for it. So I made I made that. But anyways, go ahead and open this right quick. Last time I tried this, I accidentally left it all out in my apartment and I got home from work the next day. It smells just like salmon in here the whole entire day pretty much. So we got two little slabs, you feel me, in the bag. We're going to put them on this little thing right here for right now. That bag going to come in handy in a second. Let me The bag going to come in clutch. Y'all just stay tuned to see how I use the bag, you feel me? Flatten this so y'all can see what's going on. So we got. I ain't gonna be able to talk to y'all about the cooking. Y'all gonna have to watch because I'm gonna talk to y'all about something else. You feel me? Well, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna rub it down in olive oil, throw my seasonings on there, let it sit, you know, do everything, get my water boiled and stuff for that. Then I'm gonna throw it on there. But right now, I'm gonna jump into how I got my CDL with Spark Me. So for y'all who don't know me, my name is Kari, of course, as I say in every video. Uh, I just turned 19 this past August, so I'm still young, you feel me? Uh, I went to, I attended the University of South Carolina last year for one semester. Um, I dropped out of there, but the whole story of why I dropped out, I'll, I've always been smart, like, I've been a good, like, I was never a good student. I was always just smart, you feel me? Like, I was naturally just smart. I never really studied for tests, none of that. I just show up, and I could make a good grade, a decent grade, you feel me, without studying. So I graduated high school with a 4.0. My parents go on and say it's a 3.9, but to me, that's a 4.0. Um, went to the University of South Carolina, and it was one of them things where it was like, it just didn't feel right, you feel me? I didn't think it was for me, honestly, like, I just didn't feel like I was living like a purpose. Like I didn't see myself doing that for four years, even after the first month. So long story short, I'm take I'm in math. Uh, she telling us about a test we got coming up, right? So I I'm studying for this because I knew I needed to. Like this is like two months in. I'm well, like a month and a half in. I'm studying for it. Woo -woo -woo. Me and my roommate, man. Shout out to Avery. Me and him, we in the library going in like studying and stuff. Long story short, I failed the test. And believe it or not, I still got that test to this day. It's in my closet. I would take it out and show y'all. But I do still have the same test that I failed to make me come up with this decision. At that point in my head, I was done. Like I, At that point, it was just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm done. I'm not going back. So I went to school for a month and a half. Like I went to class for a month and a half. After that, I never showed up to any other of my classes. Not one class. Like... It might sound crazy, but I was living, I was a college student living on campus like a regular college student, but I had no schoolwork, no classes. It was the best moment of my life. Like, I just felt free. You feel me? But I already knew I was, I, it wasn't for me, but you know, I didn't, obviously, I didn't tell my parents or nothing like that because I'm not the type to have to be in contact with my parents like every single day. You know what I'm saying? So it was a long period of time. I'm talking like a a couple weeks I didn't talk to my parents like but they they we understand that because I'm a guy you feel me I don't need to be pampered all the time or whatever so one day right mind y'all I haven't been going to class or nothing so I ended up getting logged out of my school email I wasn't getting no emails or nothing like I said F school I don't even want to see it but my parents was logged into my school email so I guess one day they decide let me check on him I'm supposed to be doing this. They decide, let me check on him and see how he's doing, right? So, I guess they seen that that I had emails from teachers like asking me, when are you coming back to class? Are you going to show up? You missed tests, this, that, third. So, they come to me. They confused. This is all Chinese to them. they like, missing class. Missing. And they text me, calling me. Oh, you better get it together. Woo, 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 woo. And this was like the lat. This was like... I came home in December. This was like November. I don't know when it was. It was right before like um, Thanksgiving break. So wait, that ain't, I don't know. Right before Thanksgiving break, uh, right before the semester ended, they was like, oh, you better get it together. This, that, third. You're not going to waste our money. You're going to be at home. I'm like, okay, cool. My parents want me to do it, so I'm going to do it. 
I grinded. Me and my roommate was in the library every single night. No party, no no, no extracurricular, bro. We was in there grinding because he was end up slipping up a little bit too. Bro, when I tell you we was in the library like every single night, I caught up with every single one of my classes, bro. And the thing is, it was this one college orientation class. You really just had to show up, man, and just talk about your major. And I was feeling it, bro. And that's like the only one I was actually really feeling at that time because but I emailed her and stuff like the last three days before the semester ended. I was like, hey, can I turn in some of these assignments for half credit so I can pass the class? She was like, yeah, yeah, you can turn them all in for full credit. Man, I'm telling you, I'm in the library doing essays on essays on essays about computer science. And come to find out. She never graded one of them, bro. I still have the email to this day of her telling me, you can turn them in for full credit. I turned in every one of them assignments. She didn't grade one of them, bro. At that point, I felt played. Like, they just had, I just felt played, bro. And that definitely, that right there did it for me. Like, nah, bro. Like, there's no way they should have that much power. Like, yeah, I slipped up. I should have did it on time to begin with. But she told me to do it. I don't know if she was trying to teach me a lesson or what. But... Anyways, long story short, you know, my mom and my sister came down one day. My stepdad didn't come. I guess he was busy doing something. And then we were just talking it out, man. They was like, what's going on with you? They trying to make sure I'm straight, you feel me? Because they haven't seen me because since I went to school, bro. Like, they have not seen me at all. All the way until November, bro, December. So, I'm like, I'm good, you feel me? Like, they was trying to make sure I was straight. And... I was just like, I just don't feel like it's for me. I'm going to come home. And I was telling them, I'm going to get my CDL. Now, the CDL idea came about my roommate dad is a truck driver. So, like, he would be telling me, like, before I even thought about trucking, like, we was just doing regular school. He would be like, yeah, man, my dad do that, do that trucking. Um, he make a lot of money, too. Like, my dad gone on the trucking. Um, he gone to another state doing trucking. And we were just like, oh, okay, like, he make money trucking. But it never hit my mind, like, dang, I could do something like that. So then once, you know, I made the decision to drop out and all of that, I was thinking about it. And the thing about my parents, they the type where you got to have it all laid out before you come to them with anything. Like, you can't come to them with no half information. Like, when I was young and I used to want to spend a night with my homeboys and stuff, I needed to tell them who the homeboy, who coming to pick me up, what are we going to be doing, who bringing me back, do I need a ride or not. Like, I can't just be like, can I go to my homeboy house and just get an answer. Like, I got to have it all laid out. So I did my research, I did everything, jobs, trucking schools, um, DMV, uh, dates, all of that, man. So I ended up coming home, right, the end of the year, de December, I came home. Um, I was working at a restaurant before I left, and it's more so like close family. So I was able to just go straight back into the restaurant for like a month um, while I was waiting for my CDL class to open up. Because my CDL class didn't open up to February. Mind you, I came home December, so um, I was working in the restaurant for those little two months or whatever, and when my class started in February, I was still doing my restaurant um, job on the weekends, but it was more so, it was more so CDL was my main thing, so I ended up getting enrolled, um, I found me a good truck in school, it was right there in my city, and a good thing for me, I got lucky, uh, they were offering 70% off tuition, and even for trades, you feel me, so it was like $4,500, but with the 70% off, I think I paid like $1,500 or something like that. So I got a good. I be seeing people talking about they pay $5,000, $9,000 for a CDL, man. And that's real, man. So make sure y'all stay loaded for my guy coming out soon. We all going to be helping each other. And y'all going to help me be able to pay for maybe your, you probably going to help me pay for your trucking school. You never know, you feel me? But everybody had an opportunity. But um, anyways, got into trucking school, and the thing is, my homie, like, we grew up together. I'm talking about same daycare when we was little, all the way up, graduated together, everything. So he was already thinking about it, but he never said nothing. Like, we never, ever had a conversation about trucking. He ended up already being enrolled in the class right before me. So, like, it's like weekly classes. Like, the class starts one week after the other, but they last 28 days. So he was one week ahead of me in the class or whatever. And um, so he basically got, you know, the first first view of how it was going. And he graduated. You know, we both graduated flying colors pre-trip, had that down pack. Um, um, oh, yeah, let me let me backtrack. I ended up getting my permit and my, I was studying for my permit 
while I was working at the restaurant and waiting for the CDL thing to, to open up, I was studying for my permit test and stuff. I ended up getting my DLT physical and all of that on my own. I know some companies do it for you or whatever, but yeah, I ended up doing that on my own time and like before, like I had my plan together. I had to have everything in check. I'm already young, so I don't want to have no more like nothing held against me. So I got all of that stuff done, went, took my permit test, didn't miss a question do, um, thanks to this little cheat sheet that I had. Yeah, the cheat sheet I had. Okay, so this is how I got the cheat sheet, right? The restaurant I was working in, the guy that, the route I run now, the guy delivered there. So the guy who trained me on the route that I run now, he delivered to the restaurant I was working in. It's like a full 360, bro. He trained me and I talked to him. I'm like, hey, man, like, what's up with the CDL? Like, coke hiring and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, um, you got the premium? I'm like, nah. He sent me up like a whole cheat sheet. We'll do with the woo. Told me exactly how to get it. Um, gave me his number and all, bro. And then it's so ironic how now I deliver, I run the route that he was on because he, he turned 21 and he got a new job just recently. And that's how I got the route that I run now. But it's just like I, I delivered to the same restaurant, bro, that I was just trying to figure all of this out in, man. And it's just crazy, real surreal to me. But anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah, we passed the permit test, all of that good stuff. Got the DLT physical. Um after we got the DLT physical. The school, let's fast forward to when school started. Uh, we did one week in the classroom. I was obviously the youngest one that they had come through the program. Uh, I was 18. Um, they, they had like 19, 20, but 18 with my age was the youngest. Um, they were all just get all the old heads was just giving me game. Like, hey man, you got an opportunity. Don't pass it up, all of that good stuff. I, I, I wish we was thinking about it when we was your age. You know, I respect that, you feel me? Because a lot of old guys be kind of hating on the young crew nowadays. But, like, they was actually uplifting, stuff like that. So, this garlic powder, by the way. You feel me? I'm a little heavy-handed, so we going to be quiet for this part. Make sure I ain't, I ain't overdoing nothing. All right, but, um, yeah, man. So, we fast forward to starting the class. We did one week in the classroom. Um, real easy. We just did like a few questions, got the basic knowledge of trucking, learn how to do um, time logs and stuff like that. Because like when you go over the road and stuff, that's required. Not, a lot of the stuff we did didn't apply to me because I didn't have the opportunity to because I'm only 18. Um, but we got up, we ended up um, going to the skills thing. Oh no, we got our pre-trip next. So we started working on our outside pre-trip. We got the outside down. Then we started working on the in cow pre-trip. Got the inside down. Like, I was the one in the class that had to help everybody get on board, help everybody pass, and, like, get their terms and stuff. Like, if they needed an example to show the class or, like, the class that came after our class, they needed somebody to demonstrate the pre-trip, they would call on me. Like, I was just that guy. Like, I was just fast with it because, to me, I was really, my, like, driven to get my CDL because I feel like I didn't have another option. Like, I had to get my CDL at that time. Or else, I don't know where I would be right now, bro, to be honest. But um, pre-trip, past flying colors. Driving to be, like, surprisingly, driving the truck is probably the easiest part of trucking. Like, people think driving the truck is hard. It's like driving a regular vehicle. You're just longer. So you just got to just turn wider. You got to be more aware of your surroundings. But other than that, it's just like driving. You just stay in between the lines and just account for what's behind you. Feel me? Breaking, you gotta break a little fat sooner than in the car. Things like that. But just being aware, that's the number one thing a truck and just being self aware while you're in the truck. Cause everything you you operate in that truck, you feel me? If something happened, it's on you. But um Yeah man. Damn that thing still ain't done preheated. But past all of that stuff um i took my dmv test i was like the first one to take my dmv test man because i was ready like i told him like put me first like i gotta get i gotta go so he put me in there i passed of course everybody knew i would pass um started my youtube channel like right when i started cdl school but i didn't start posting until i got hired at coke and it's the reason I did that. Um, I did that because I wanted to stay consistent on YouTube. So I didn't want to get my CDL and not be able to find a job and have to wait two, three months before I post another video. So I waited until I got my job to post my um, clips from NCDL school. But the thing is, I was already plugged in with the job. Now, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of free game in this video, but most of it going to be in my course. 
whenever I come out with it pretty, pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. The how to get you a trucking job, man, it's, it's easy, bro. And I'm going to give y'all also certificates when you pass the course that will help you with your resume or whatever. But i seen coke trucks everywhere in my city, bro. Like I say, the dude delivered to me. I'm the type, like, I, w I was going up to those drivers, like, hey, man, y'all hiring? Y'all hiring at 18? Um, they're like, yeah, man, go go up there and apply. We'll do it the wool. Tell them I sent you. So I'm going, and I'm telling, I, I got, like, four or five different names down on my application, bro, like, of people who got a good name at coke, worked hard, been there for a long time. So that also put me higher because I went out looking. Like, I didn't just... Say, oh, I want a job. This is what I I have no experience. We'll do the I went. I said, no, I got this person backing me up. This person backing me up. Um, stuff like that. So it's, it it plays a big part when you got a, a great referral. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But um, other than that, oh yeah. So the day I got the call from Coke, right? I was sitting in my car. It was a morning. This was before I took my um CDL test. It was like the week before I took my CDL test. That's done pre here But it was like a week before I uh, finished taking my CDL test. They called me. They was like, I want you to come in for an interview and a drug screening and all of that. And I was telling them, like, hey, man, I don't have my CDL yet. I'm still taking. He was like, yeah, just come. Once you pass that test, give me a call back. And you can come in the next day and we can do it. Man, that gave me even more motivation, bro. I passed that CDL test, flying colors. Didn't miss anything, man, at all. Um, after that. After I passed the CDL test, I went the next day. Like, the next day after I passed, I was in there filling out my paperwork and all. This was, like, before I did my drug screening and all that. I was just in there filling out stuff, filling out paper, signing stuff. Because they trusted me because of my referrals, you feel me? So, I was telling them, like, yeah, I'm going to pass that drug test. Like, I don't smoke. I'm going to pass that drug test. And they believed me. They gave it opportunity. I wasn't officially hired yet until obviously it came back negative for everything. But like I was already filling out paperwork, getting my key card scanned and all of that, man. So uh, about a week later, the drug screening came back and I started the next day. They put me on the truck with other drivers, man. And I ain't gonna lie, it was rough at first. Like my first day, it was like I barely could push the cool lifts. Like it was crazy. I was cold. I didn't have no jacket or I had shorts on and my Coke short sleeve shirt my first day. And they was like, they was looking at me crazy. I came in. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to have to send you home right quick. You got to go get you some some pants and a jacket because you're going to be cold in them coolers, man. And I'm glad, you know, shout out to Darian. I'm glad he did that, bro, because it was freezing cold my first. I had to get used to it. But outside of that, um, I was on a truck with other drivers, like I said, helping. And then it got to the point, like, I'm a hard worker in anything. Like, I'm not going to give you no BS job whether I want to do it or not. And this was something I wanted to do. So, of course, I'm going to perform. I'm in there. We knocking stuff out. I'm getting drivers done. And then I'm going out and I'm helping other drivers too. You feel me? It builds up a reputation when you show that you're hungry for it. You want it. You feel me? Instead of just leaving after I helped this driver, I was getting in like the little pickup trucks we got, going out, finding other drivers, helping them, helping them finish out their day. You feel me? And that just builds your connection with the drivers. The boss see that. He's like, okay, this guy, he working. So then... um. Kyle, the guy that whose route I'm on now, he ended up putting in his two weeks notice because he was about to turn 21 soon. And he was going to obviously go get a better job over the road or whatever he wanted to do. And um, hold up, y'all. Let me um throw this. Let me throw this in the um in the uh, thing right quick. We find this. Hopefully, this is better than the last time I did it. Um, we just gonna see. I don't got to spray this, right? I shouldn't have to spray this. All right. Should I have sprayed it? I'm going to spray it just to make sure. Because <laughs> I don't want this thing to be messed up and it be all my fault. I'm not spraying on it. I'm spraying beside it. I'm just going to slide it over. But yeah, he put in his two weeks notice and the, the way at Coke and where I was at, it's like next man up. So like it was me and this other guy, which was a helper, but he already didn't ran the route that I'm on now. Like he he's okay with being a helper. He don't want to run the routes no more. So um they put me um with him. Like I'm I was next up to get the route. So he trained me, man, and it was just like a crazy moment for me when I was realizing, like, dang man, like I put in the work for this just a just a few months ago. Literally, I didn't have 
I wasn't going through it. Like I wasn't having nothing going on, working in the restaurant, nothing. You feel me? And then March came, I got hired, and like two months later, I was just working and get my own route. You feel me? So got my own route. Um, he ended up leaving. I was on there, and they put me with a supervisor for like two weeks. He he felt me out, made sure I was good, stuff like that. And I've been on my own ever since, man. And ever since then, I was able to, uh, like my first two months while I was working with Coke, I was in the 2014 Ford Focus that had transmission issues. I would literally break down every five seconds. No exaggeration, bro. I would have to, like my pedal would stop working. I would be rolling on the way to work, bro. Like I couldn't even accelerate, bro. It's crazy. Like I would have to go fast down the hill going to work and roll, bro, for like a good minute, minute and a half. It don't sound long, but when you rolling in the car, that's a long time, bro, because my pedal will stop working. Uh, my car will overheat in like five minutes of me driving it. I have to pull over, wait for like 20 minutes, then drive for two minutes just to have to pull over again and wait another t Like, I used to have to get up and go to work 45 minutes to 50 minutes earlier just so I can make it on time because I knew my car would mess up, man. Um, and I, my CDL has helped me. Uh, I just got me a 2014 um, uh, Lexus 250 F Sport. You feel me? Red interior. You know what I'm saying? So it got away from the Ford Focus. Um, I was living with my parents. There's nothing wrong with living into parents. I probably should be living with my parents right now, stacking money. But you know me, I'm big headed. I do what every kid do. Came and got me an apartment um, here right now, man. And I've been loving it, man. Ever since I moved in this apartment. Uh, August was my best. I moved in here in August. Um, right, I was still 18, August 4th. I turned 19, August 6th. But August was my best month I ever had with like my career and goals, YouTube, all of that, man. I've grown so much in August, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, August really hit hard for me because it's like, dang, like, I made a decision to move out, started this YouTube thing serious, and man, it just took off for me, like, in a crazy way, so man, I thank y'all for that, for supporting me, uh, we're gonna keep cooking, of course, man, so if you made it this far in the video, make sure you drop a chef emoji in the comment section, go to my Instagram at Kari Loaded, drop chef emoji under my pictures, double tap my pictures, all of that, um, stay, stay tuned for the, um, the guy that come out, I'm going to be sharing a whole bunch of wisdom with you guys, man. If you're thinking about getting your CDL, you got your CDL, you're looking for jobs, looking for trucking schools, or just want to get knowledge about trucking in general or having a CDL, stay tuned for that guy, man. It's going to come out soon. I'm going to be giving out cheat sheets to pass everything, man, to how to get around the drug test. If you don't, if you can't stop smoking, like all of that stuff, man, finding jobs uh, with no experience, overall, local, Big money time. You know you know how it go, man. Trucking is trucking. Let me put this in the oven right quick before this thing start tweaking out. Y'all know me, man. We gotta have we gotta have a nice little flavor on there. We gonna put that on there for 15 minutes right quick. So let's say timer. Wait, where the timer at? Cook time. Cook time. 15. And we're gonna start that and when we while we starting that we're gonna fill this up with some water. Cause we got these mashed potatoes. This ain't just add water to them, so we're gonna boil some water right here. Um throw this water on this burner right here. We're gonna let that water boil over there. Um might as well go ahead and just throw this broccoli in here. But yeah, man, that's pretty much how it all happened for me. Um, and that's how I got to where I am today. You know, I'm definitely not done. What the? Damn, I did this. I'm definitely not done. Um, nowhere near done, man. Like, we just getting started. We just getting started. Um, you know, I'm being more consistent on YouTube. I, I'm making the content, pushing these videos out for y'all. Um, I'm starting an organization pretty soon that I've been thinking about, and it's going to be clutch. Y'all going to like it. Trust me. Y'all going to like this organization I'm going to start up. Um, just helping out others, man. That's what it's all about, man. Helping out the youth. It's really targeted towards the youth, but I know there's older people that watch me as well that can have the same opportunity, man. No matter the age, whether you're young or old, 
money is money, opportunity is opportunity, and it's out there for everybody. So, um, yeah, man, everybody stay tuned for that. Let me go ahead and put this on this burner. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and throw this onto the stove, things like that. And we just going to let that do what it do. But, yeah, man, I'm trying to make sure I touched on everything for y'all. Um, went through school, dropped out, restaurant, into CDL school, into Coke. Um, a Coke, let me give y'all a review on Coke so far. So, Coke have been treating me pretty good. I ain't even going to lie to you. Um, it's a good starting company. Especially, I work for a... See, this is the thing. I work for a bottling company. I don't work for Coca-Cola Consolidated. It's two different things. Like, it's not the... So, when y'all be like, oh, you work for Coke, you got a great job. It's basically like any other starter-level trucking job. Like, it's a um, misconception that y'all have, and I probably should clear that up. But it's not like the big Consolidated one. It's just a bottling company. It's family-owned, and they just got the trucks, and they just bottle the drinks, and we take it. That's how it is. It's not like the big one... Whatever. So the pay is obviously different than what I get would be different from what somebody that works in the big consolidated one gets. So that's let me I just had to clear that up for y'all because y'all be like, oh man, you work at Coke, man. You got it's just a regular trucking job to be honest. Regular pay, not enough pay. That's one thing. Um I think I do I could say the pay, I mean the work is excessive for the, the amount we get paid. We get paid decent. We get paid right in the middle. We don't get paid too little. But we don't get paid enough, you feel me? We're right in the middle. So um But it's it's a starter, it's a starter company. I, like a bottling company would be a starter company in my eyes. Um so yeah, that's how that's how I'm treating it. They gave me an opportunity that I probably wouldn't have got nowhere else, man. So um I'm grateful for that for sure, for sure. And we're gonna keep pushing it through with them. Um yeah, I can't complain at all about Coke. Like some things is iffy, like my the route I run now. It's, it's rough. I ain't gonna lie. The route I run now is probably one of the roughest routes. So you gotta have a young guy like me on it that like no no older guy can probably run the route I run consistently for a long time. So um, you definitely gotta have a young guy on there slinging them boxes, them brown boxes I take into the restaurants, fifty pounds each, like crazy. Then I got two liters, twenty ounces. Um, every, every Coke product I deliver, like if they make the order. So um, yeah. Other than that. You know, the way they load the truck could be better. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, they just stack my shit to the roof. Sometimes they barely wrap it. Sometimes they wrap it, sometimes they don't. Um, I've have I've had incidents incidences where like the drinks and stuff topple over onto the door. Cause I got side doors, not a back door. So like the drinks and stuff, they they'll make a pallet so tall that the drinks will fall over to the point where I can't lift the door up because it'll be stuck on a drink or something. Um, I've had um, incidences where you know just product just missing. I've had stuff like they'll put one case of something on the bottom. Let's say I needed one cherry coke. They'll put the one cherry coke at the bottom at the very back, and they'll stack everything else for every other order on top of it. So for me to get that, and I'm at my first stop, mind you, for me to get that cherry coke, I gotta take down everything off of that pallet just to grab that cherry coke to put on there. So. Um, We boiling, you feel me? Um, I'm gonna keep letting that boil, but um, yeah, like I say, man, it's just some things. But like I said, I definitely am not complaining right now. Um, so yeah, that's basically why I got my CDL. That's how I got my CDL. If you guys want a more in depth um explanation of how I got my CDL, if you guys want access to that cheat sheet, you want to get my uh, my guide for free when it comes out. Make sure you go down in the description. Join the membership. Doesn't matter which one you join. Probably tier two would be the best one to join. Um, you guys will get access to exclusive content, not like OnlyFans or nothing like that, but exclusive content like vlogs and stuff that I make that I can't post on YouTube because I don't have nothing to go with it, or extra little trucking tips, um, trucking jobs, cash apps, anything like that. Um, free CDL schools near you, like all it job, like all of that. I'm gonna be giving it out in a membership down below yeah man so it's sorry about that but it's in the um description down below so make sure you guys check that out um join any tier but tier two would be the best if you join tier three you will be put in a group chat with everybody who joins tier three 
um, a big trucker group chat. Whether you're interested or you got a CDL or you fully get your CDL, big trucker group chat, man. I'm talking about big trucker group chat. We're going to have everybody in there who joined. We're going to. But yeah, man, I'm probably going to, sorry about that, um, camera issues, but yeah, man, just make sure you check that out. I'm going to go ahead and probably finish cooking. I want to show y'all what I make, so I'm going to go ahead and just end that portion of the video, and then I'm just going to end it with a little clip of what I made. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, We're going to keep cooking, for sure, for sure, and on, on camera and in the real kitchen, you feel me? So... Stay tuned for everything I talked about, man. If you're interested, man, take advantage of this video and make it happen. Um, again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Car loaded. We out.